Ladies and gentlemen, the Double RT Boxing Show. Thank you for tuning in. I am your host, Mr. A. And a uh, breakdown and prediction for a up and coming prospect on the undercard of uh, a car house and Sultan tomorrow night. Um, this is Alexander Besputin, a 9 0 prospect. Uh, he's taking on Saul Corral. Uh, the name sounds familiar. It's the same guy uh, Victor Ortiz made his comeback against. Now, this should be a nice victory for Alexander. You know, it's coming to 9 0, 7 KOs, Souls 28 and 11, 19 KOs, 3 KOs. He got the. He, everything is in his favor. He got 186 rounds of experience professionally. Now, Pesputin has the amateur background, but professionally only has 42 rounds. He's 27 years old. He, so was 31. Uh, Alexander's 5'7. He's given up the height to a 5'9 and a half. 73 inch reach. And Alexander's given, given up because he only has 68. So he's given up, what, 5 there? 2 inches in height. Uh, but he, to me, he's just a, a better overall technical, skilled boxer. If Saul has a chance, it's going to be just to make it a dogfight and catch something in, in Alexander's Pesputin, um exchanging. I don't think he could deal with the, the ongoing footwork and the sidestepping feet work of Alexander. Uh, the defense... Uh, Alexander is right in front of you, slipping punches, coming forward. That pressure, that new European pressure fighting style coming forward. Does a little side step off to the side like Lomachenko. Saul, he's going to be in front of you. He, he has a nice one-two, a little side step into the side. You saw against Victor Ortiz, he could deliver a nice exchange in battle. Nothing too serious, but offensively, I think Alexander's just output's going to be too much for him. Alexander's very good at throwing soft punches and coming with the heater. Uh, Alexander should, he throws hard. If he ain't throwing his little uh, touch-ups, he throws everything hard. So maybe Saul can catch him after he unleashes one of those hard combinations. Maybe he could catch him during that, that reset moment and then crack him. Because uh, Alexander's going to throw everything in the kitchen sink at this dude. He's going to throw it hard. He works upstairs and downstairs. He mixes his combinations very well. Um, I, I don't... Unless Saul goes into complete survival mode early, I don't see this fight going past five rounds. I'm going Alexander Pesputin with a uh, fourth round KO. I go fifth round. Fifth round, give him some time to catch him. Fifth round knockout. Become a ten and zero. Like I said, Saul is a, uh, a a name to be on his uh, resume. A nice, well, kind of journeyman type opponent to see where you're at. Like I said, this was Victor Ortiz's comeback opponent. So that kind of tells you what Saul Corral is. Alexander Pisputin by fifth round knockout right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. I am your host, Mr. A. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your time and support. Please subscribe and hit that thumbs up. And again, this fight is on the undercard of the um, Joe Winacasas, Johan Jonas Sultan, uh, Kyle Yaffe versus, um, I forgot who he's fighting. I forgot who Kyle Yaffe is fighting, but it's, it's on that undercard. Thank you for your time.